so what was the question again? Oh, wait, why is it called the traffic jam? Well, you know, the reason is it's because I have two really cool cars. Seriously cool cars. And I love drifting, racing, <clears throat> because I am fast and slick. And plus, I like to create a bit of traffic jam myself with a whole lot of great music. Burumunaka, my name is Real, your host and DJ, right here on the Today FM Traffic Jam every weekday from 3 p.m. to 7. Right here on Today FM, today's hit music. <laughs> This is FBC News. I'm Amrita Priyadarshni. And tonight's bulletin, sex offenders top the list of inmates in corrections facilities. Fiji Pine loses over 100 hectares of young pine. And the banking sector backs economic outlook, outlook for 2016. Now, there has been a rapid increase in the number of sex offenders imprisoned in corrections facilities. The Fiji Correction Service says the increase is quite noticeable and is a growing concern for the FCS. 86 inmates from all the 13 facilities are serving time for sexual offences. Akusita Tale reports. Sex offenders make up the largest portion of inmates entering the correction system in recent years, prompting a call for all communities to take more care. That's how I, I request the religious uh, the, the Ponua and if we can all to, uh, work together. Eh? This is not the right place for them to come and end up. Uh, if they can keep them up there in the community, keep them informed, keep them occupied all the time, and uh, especially the youths. Lieutenant Colonel Vasu says in previous years, there were very few sex offenders serving time. But this category of criminals has now become the largest portion of inmates at most facilities. Rehabilitation is an integral part of correction services and so programs have been introduced to ensure there are no reoffenders. Well, for sex offenders, uh, first, of all, for, first of all, we'll be isolating them so that they can come and stay together and that's where uh, they call the program is uh, realizations, where they come and they know the, 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 the series of the offense they have uh, committed. Psychologists are roped in to provide counseling and find the root cause of what makes offenders commit these crimes. Lieutenant Colonel Vasu says there's still more to be done. For sex offenders, my last uh, four years, I'm going into my fifth year now. Uh, I've seen oh, there's only one that come, come back for sex offense after they finish their term. So I understand it's working, but uh, it's out there in the community that needs to be addressed. FBC News was also told that sex offenders are kept in a separate unit for their own safety because of the possibility that another inmate could be related to a victim and may want to harm the perpetrator. Akusita Talei, FBC News. Fiji Pine Group won't be able to meet its planting targets this year due to the prolonged dry weather. Another contributing factor was a fire that destroyed 160 hectares of pine in Nandi. Alan Stolls has the story. Thousands of two-year-old pine trees have been written off the books due to the extent of damage, possibly millions of dollars gone up in smoke. Executive Chair Fez Khan says they can't even begin replanting because the trees wouldn't grow. It is a significant, significant cause for concern at the moment. Uh, we are not able to go ahead with our planting program. If we do plant in this drought, you know, the seedlings that we plant will die in uh, a week. Uh, so there's no point in planting. Our nurseries are full with uh, seedlings, you know, millions of seedlings waiting to go into the, the land, the soil. However, the soil is not ready for that. Uh, and therefore, we need rain. While there's no recovering these trees, the fire has been reported to police as Fiji Pine tries to track down those responsible. Khan says their concern isn't only for the harvest in the next 25 years, but for the next 100 years and well into the future. He says they're trying to inculcate a culture of sustainability. 
We have to be concerned not about the next 25 years, but about the next 100 years, the next 1,000 years. And that's the culture we have tried to uh, inculcate in our people. However, uh, that, that culture that we have inculcated at the moment, we cannot go ahead and enforce it and put it into action because of uh, factors outside of our control, controls, such as weather. The company is also calling on authorities to ban burning, be it sugarcane or rubbish, to eliminate the possibilities of future fires. Ellen Stalls, FBC News. The banking sector expects growth in business next year. With economies policy showing results, HFC Bank and Westpac say the reforms announced in the 2016 budget are significant. Sharon Lata reports. The banking and finance sector is seeing more activity than it has in many years. Lending for investment and consumer spending is at an all-time high. Two leading banks are optimistic about 2016 and the potential for record growth. Budget that has come out, it has actually encouraged investors to come to the country and invest. So um, I'm optimistic that uh, there will be a, a lot of growth in the building industry as well and uh, commercial uh, entities. West, Westpac's perspective, we've seen strong sentiment both in the retail sector and also the business sector, sector so that bodes well for Fiji's economy uh, next year. In October alone, commercial lending increased by 14 percent, while domestic and private sector credit grew by 14.2 percent. Overall, commercial banks lent 14 percent in the year to date. HFC Bank CEO Sikeli Tikanduandua says the banking sector in Fiji has changed over the years. Competition is good. It's good for the uh, consumers because they have a lot of choice. But I guess um, overall, there's enough uh, business uh, in Fiji for every bank to grow. Although lending is at an all-time high liquidity in the banking system hasn't suffered. In fact, it stood over $669 million in September and dropped slightly to $570 million last month. Good liquidity in the country still, so that's good for interest rates and it's good for investment. And that all supports uh, a strong investment agenda. HFC and Westpac Bank are positive that Fiji will be able to meet the 5% gross domestic product forecast next year. Sharin Lata, FBC News. After the break, successful Fijian tells of the struggles of Francis Vukindovu of Lomai Viti. Great words there from Lucky Dube and Babana. Hope you enjoyed that number. Different colors just for you on Gold FM. Only the classic hits. Louise with you on the center show. Well, thank you so much for the sweet company. This is Alana Miles, one of my favorites, and Black Velvet for you. Hi there. Join me on the center show every weekday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. for the best sounds on Gold FM. Only the classic hits. Welcome back to FBC News. Now, there have been no reports of Fijian casualties in the terrorist attacks in Paris, France. This is a No Shave November, or Movember as it's more commonly known, a worldwide campaign men growing facial hair for 30 days to raise awareness on prostate cancer. It's also a chance to show off stashes, goatees, Fu Manchus, mutton chops and other furry face warmers. If you're confused by male friends and co-workers looking more and more like Western movie villains or grizzly bears, worry not, it's for a good cause. Movember or No Shave November raises awareness on prostate and testicular cancers and is a sign of solidarity. Fiji golf rep Oliver Allen Jr. has special reason to grow out his beard. Actually, family, family, a few family members um, have had uh, you know, scares, uh, cancer scares and... Um, Close friends have got cancer and stuff like that, so yeah, really, they they inspired me to start, you know, creating awareness and doing doing my part towards the cause. Alan has been growing his beard since November last year, with only a trim in between. Come November 2016, he plans a big shave. I'm thinking of uh, t trying to organise a tournament, uh, a golf uh, awareness tournament and uh, also it'll be a fundraising for Cancer Society as well. 
By encouraging men to get involved, Movember aims to increase early cancer detection, diagnosis and effective treatment, ultimately reducing deaths. Oh, I'd like to say, um, yeah, grow a mo and uh, get your nuts checked. Prostate cancer is the most fatal form of cancer for men in Fiji. Movember encourages men to become mo bros. Growing a mo encourages others to do the same and maybe spark private and public conversation around the often ignored issue of men's health. Jackie Spate, FBC News. Dedication and hard work is the key to success. These are the words of our successful Fijian for this week, Frances Vukindonu, as she talks to our reporter Ali Kimbia about her journey in life. Successful Fijians is brought to you by the Fiji Development Bank, your partner in progress. We caught up with Francis Wukindonu at the Lomaiviti Festival in Suba, selling mats and handicraft that she has made herself. At 61 years old, Francis, who hails from Muain Batiki, recalls the day that he was separated from her husband and for nine years had to earn a living and support her family. It started when my husband left me, then I was left to look after my kids. It was very hard, as I have to cater for the education and provide food on the table. Having the responsibility of educating of her six children, Bukindonu then started her small business to weave and sell mats on Batiki Island. It was a hard job to weave mats, but I got no other option but to work hard for the benefit of my children. Sometimes it took me four days to prepare everything before I start weaving a mat. With determination to provide for her family, Bukindonu still stays up late at night to weave mats with other women in the village and during the day she works in the farm planting cassava and other root crops. Before there was no electricity, I always use kerosene lamp to weave in the night. I used to wake up all night to weave, and during the day, my kids tried to tell me to stop, but they did not know that I am doing it for them to have a better future. Wukindonu usually earns about $800 a month, just enough to cater for the family. There are different types of mats I sell. Some we sell it for $200, the highest money we can earn from selling one mat is $400, and we do sell it to our own customers in the village and in Suva. From the money she earned, she's been able to save and now runs a small canteen in her village. Over the years, she managed to put five of her children through school, and they are now working. Her youngest son is currently studying in a tertiary institute. Ali Kimbia. FBC News. Successful Fijians was brought to you by the Fiji Development Bank, your partner in progress. Rewa wins women's football competition. And all details after the break. Welcome to FPC Sports and congratulations to the TFL Fijiana side who have qualified for the Rio Olympics in Brazil next year after winning the Oceania Sevens in New Zealand today. Fiji came through the tournament undefeated, thrashing Samoa 55-0 in the final. Now, earlier in the semi-finals, the Fijiana proved too strong for Papua New Guinea, overpowering them 38-0. A lot of credit for the Fijianas win goes to coaching director of women's rugby, Chris Cracknell. The Englishman has changed the team's style of play, and it was evident over the last two days. 
Meanwhile, the Australian men's sevens team have also booked a place in Brazil next year after winning the men's competition. Now, Samoa and Tonga have qualified for the final qualifying tournament, which will be played in June next year for a final chance of making it to Brazil. The Rewa women's side has won the Super 4 competition at the Fiji FA Academy grounds in Suva. Rewa defeated Lambasa 5-4 on penalty kicks after both teams were locked at nil all after full time. Now in the third place playoff, Ba beat Nasinu 4-1. And the women's team will now prepare for the inter-district championships which will be played in Bar next month. Fasenag hosted the 2015 Fiji Sports Hall of Fame and Fiji Olympic Order Awards Night at the Grand Pacific Hotel in Suva last night. Former national track athlete Vadiseva Tavanga was inducted into the Hall of Fame for her values of true sportsmanship and the Olympic values of friendship, respect and excellence on and off the field. John Anthony Moore was added to the Fiji Olympic order for notable achievements, being the 100 yards champion for 90, from 1927 to 1938 and having played rugby for Fiji and being chosen captain at the age of 21. Another inclusion in the Fiji Olympic order was Vijendra Pal Sharma, the first Fijian to officiate at an Olympic game and for his contributions to the sport of weightlifting. Melbourne Victory defeated Sydney FC 4-2 in the Hyundai Football A-League last night. Despite having as many as six players unavailable through suspension or on international duty, Victory surged to a gripping win at Alliance Stadium. It was a warm day across the nation with high temperatures and humidity. Eastern centres got some early morning rain. Temperatures, Lautoka, Ba and Nandi recorded the highest temperatures at 32 degrees. Lambasa hit 30 and Suva and Savu Savu were at 29. You can expect tomorrow to be much like today, although there is a sign of hope for the West. A slim chance they may get some light showers and a break from the extremely dry conditions. Now the further outlook, the warm, humid spell is expected to continue into Tuesday, again with hope for rain in the west. Now at sea, winds to 20 knots and rough seas. Recapping our main stories tonight, sex offenders top the list of inmates in corrections facilities across Fiji. Fiji Pine loses more than 100 hectares of young pine due to uncontrolled fire and banking sector optimistic about the prospects for economic growth in 2016. On to our poll question. We are asking, are you happy with the massive reduction in VAT? You can visit our FBC website to take part. Now, you can also send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email, citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page, FBC News. Or if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. You've been watching FBC News. I'm Amrit Priyadarshini. Good night. देश की दरगाह बड़ी फीजी टू का ये प्रसारण आप लिए कार्यक्रम में आपका स्वागत है वो कर रहे हैं याद रखते हैं अभी से लेकर रात बारह तक ये सिलसिला हम और आप का चलता रहेगा दृष्टिकोण में आपका हम स्वागत कर रहे हैं दृष्टिकोण के तुरंत बाद आगे बढ़ते हैं कार्यक्रम में इधर कहते हैं कि गहरी थी रात लेकिन हम सोए नहीं गहरी थी रात लेकिन हम सोए नहीं दर्द बहुत था दिल में पर हम रोए नहीं कोई नहीं हमारा जो पूछे हमसे जाग रहे हो किसके लिए या किसी के लिए सोए नहीं याद रखा दे गीत संगीत के तकाजा आपके लिए रात बारह तक आपको हम सोने नहीं देंगे महती रातें हर सोमवार से लेकर शुक्रवार तक रात सात से लेकर बारह के बीच रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप रविंद्र सिंह के साथ